<clears throat> Got a little croaky today. Hey guys, how you doing? You all right? You hanging on in there? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Kate Arnell. This is EcoBoost. And today we're doing a little what's in my bag video because you've all been wondering. I think there's a general assumption that people who live a zero waste or low waste lifestyle are carting around crap loads of reusables in a trolley, essentially, and they never leave the house without them. Granted, there are a few reusables that I do carry with me that probably aren't in everybody's handbags, but they should be. So here's what I put in my handbag when I use it. I don't use it every day. Sometimes I'm more of a shove things in the pockets kind of girl, but the rest of the time I do use my handbag. So let's delve right in. So this is my handbag. It's pretty much, I think, my only handbag. It's my only bag. I have a bunch of like reusable cloth bags, which I sometimes use as handbags, but generally this is my only proper handbag. Should we make this into a game? How many times do you think I can say handbag in this video? Put your predictions in the comments now. My guess is 41. Are you going higher or lower? So it's quite a boxy rectangular shape. It's a little bit like a camera bag and maybe that's why I quite like it. I don't know. I think it reminds me of one that my parents had in our house growing up. It's got the two handles on top so I can carry it with my hands or over my arm or I've got the option to go over the shoulder with this longer strap, which is actually detachable. So guys, I've got options. One way I've never carried it before until right now is like this. It's just endless options, guys. Or maybe I should go ghetto blaster style. What do you think? It's also got two side pockets, which are really useful because if I don't want to rummage around inside here to find something quite small, if I put it in the side pocket, I now can just straight in and pull it out. So this bag is a secondhand bag. I bought it about five or six years ago. It's originally by the brand 2812, which was the brand that Sienna Miller and her sister Savannah Miller set up. Um, I'm not sure if that even exists anymore. Maybe it does, I don't know. But I got this secondhand and I've used it a lot, but I think it's held up pretty well. I'll start with the side pocket. And in there, oh, I've got a few coins at the bottom. Haha, <laughs> winning. Do you love it when you find a few extra coins at the bottom of your bag? What have we got here? Two pounds, guys. We've got two pounds. Drinks are on me. First up, it's my little wallet slash card holder, but you could fit a few coins in here as well. This is by a brand called Craftery, and they use organically tanned leather to make really cute little bags phone cases, wallets, and then a few larger leather items as well. And I really like them. I found them in Nettle Market in London Fields in East London about a year ago. And then on my birthday, decided to treat myself to a little wallet because at the time I didn't really have a wallet about a year ago. I was just using a rubber band or a hair band to go around my cards. And that was kind of my makeshift wallet. The security on that wasn't great, I'll be honest. I really like the size of this. It's super cute, really small. Uh, it fits just the right amount of cards. It has these little gaps at the side, but no coins fall out. Uh, and I do have a few coins in there as well. And it's such a simple design. It's just two pieces of leather that have been slotted together. And then the stud just keeps it secure. And the leather is aging really nicely as well, probably because I handle it a lot. I'm not quite sure what the exact reason is, but it just, looks really beautiful. I'm so pleased with this. I use it every single day. In my other side pocket, we've got my keys. This is a keyring that I made myself because I'm so flipping talented. The guys who made my wallet have a little section at their stand where you can make your own key ring from off cuts of leather that would otherwise go to waste. So he showed me how to slice it, how to add the stud and how to add my initials. I've got little house keys on there and this other little keyring, I just really like it. I think it's pretty cute. It's a wooden triangle. It says uh, hashtag fashion for the future and it's by the guys PIC or Peak, Peak Style on Instagram. They basically have a beautiful capsule collection of clothing made from things like organic cotton and organic wool and various other sustainable materials. Anything else? Oh yeah, and then also in my other side pocket, I've got more money. I'm rich, I'm the wealthiest woman on YouTube right now. What have we got there? 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 pence, guys. There's 90 pence in the other pocket. Put that in my little pouch. Also in the side pocket is this little all-purpose balm, which I mainly use as a lip balm. I only started making this recently, and um, that's what it looks like inside. 
I really like it. It's made from beeswax and jojoba oil, um, both of which I got without packaging. Please give me one moment. The recipe is just the one from the Zero Waste Home book. There are other similar recipes out there. I think I saw one the other day which was made from cocoa butter and another oil. I can't remember which, but I'll link that in the info box below. So you don't have to use beeswax if that's not your vibe. But yeah, I really like it. Beeswax can be a little bit messy to work with, so I think this will be the extent of my DIY beauty skills. I've given up on homemade mascara and I've actually just ordered something from Etsy and then waiting for it to arrive. So if that works out, I will share it with you. It's a mascara and eyeliner that comes in a little metal tin. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed that works. I like carrying this around with me because the weather is getting a little chilly outside hence the cosy jumper, um, and my lips do get a little bit dry. I also sometimes get like little dry patches on my hands when the weather gets super nippy, so it's quite nice to have this in my bag. It's quite small and neat, and this is actually a little tin that I saved from a previous lip balm that I bought about a year ago, um, and I just cleaned it out and reused it. In the Zero Waste Home book, she says this can be used for all sorts of things like protecting your shoes, uh, as well as being used as a lip balm and a little bit of a moisturiser. I also put a picture of this on Instagram recently and somebody commented saying they used the same uh, formula to protect their chopping boards. So it really is all purpose. Let's see if I can use some of it to sort, style my hair a little bit. Let's try that out, shall we? It works as a hair texturizer too. Oh yeah, and also I've got my phone in the side pocket as well, just because it's easy to reach. Uh, I've got a missed call from my husband. There's not an awful lot to say about this phone other than the fact that the battery runs out every few hours, which will lead me nicely on to my next item, essential item that I carry in my bag, which is a phone charger. Now I bet you haven't seen <laughs> such an alien looking phone charger before. I'm not sure why we have this. Um, it was just knocking around our house and I needed a phone charger to carry around with me. And it's quite small, and hey, if someone's still got an older phone or needs a slightly different attachment, I might be able to save their day. I don't know. It's so weird. Up next, it's my water bottle, which is slightly shocking that it even fits into my bag, but it does pretty easily, actually. This is something that goes everywhere with me now, and I recently bought myself a clean canteen insulated one because the weather is getting colder outside and I like to have almost like a flask or something hot to keep me cozy and warm because I'm a naturally cold creature. And I've gone for a slightly larger size than my other water bottle, which my husband has basically pinched by the way. So he's called that one his own. I was like, fine, I'm getting myself a um, larger one. I've also lost our smaller one. I've lost a lot of things recently and I'm not sure what's happened in the universe. I've lost my entire makeup bag, my smaller water bottle, which is the one I used to carry around with me, and my sunglasses have mysteriously disappeared. Next item, my headphones. These are by House of Marley and they're made from either recycled or sustainable materials. House of Marley is a really lovely brand actually and they talk a lot about the materials that they use to make their headphones and speakers over on their website so I'll link them in the info box below. I really like them. The sound quality is brilliant <laughs> but I did recently lose uh, one of the silicone ear buds, is that what you call them? I don't know what they're called. And I casually mentioned it to my brother whilst I was on the phone to him saying, oh no, I've lost one of the silicone earbud things. And he was like, I've got an entire drawer of spare ones sitting around at home. Would you like to take one? Hey brother, lend me your ear, bud. So I did email House of Marley to say, hey, do you sell or can I get a replacement earbud? But by the time they got back to me saying that I needed to give them more information about the type of model of he headphones I've got, I'd already got this one for my brother. Um, and I quite like that they're different colors. Is that weird? Does that look, I think it looks quite cool. Cloth bags. I almost always carry a couple of these in my handbag. These are great if I suddenly decide I want to buy something from bulk and maybe I haven't thought ahead very much, or if I want to buy a pastry or a loaf of bread or something, anything, I'm kind of prepared because I've got at least one cloth bag either in my pocket but usually a couple in my handbag. Life hack number one. If you're looking to get some, you don't have to go out and buy any. If you're trying to save those pennies, firstly I'd suggest checking the pockets of your handbag because as we've learned, you never know how much 
wealth you might have sitting in a side pocket. But I find repurposing things like shoe dust bags, because whoever really uses them for shoes. I also almost always have a spare, like larger, over the shoulder cloth bag. It's really lightweight, it scrunches up super small. This one I think was actually a freebie from an event held by the Soil Association. Guys, look for the logo. I like to have one of these in my handbag because if I buy something, either an item of clothing or some extra grocery shopping and I don't have enough room to carry it in my handbag, then I can whip this out and I've got another bag to go over my other shoulder. So. Um, it might seem like I'm over-prepared when I leave the house, but more often than not, I do end up using this. My coffee cup! This is actually slightly different to the uh, other ones you've seen. I got this recently from a friend of mine who's got a very cool website called BicBim, and it stands for Because It's Cool, Because It Matters, and it's a directory of food and fashion, and it's all ethical and sustainable, and she's actually got a Kickstarter running at the moment, so I'll link that in the info box below. This is a little cup from her event. I've got a few different uh, reusable coffee cups. I just find having a few works for us. I know a lot of people just have one. I've got the glass one by Keep Cup, but I need to replace the cork band. I still haven't done that yet. How long has it been? Months. My husband's got a little metal clean canteen one. And then I've got two of these by E Coffee Cup made from bamboo with silicone lids. Let's just say I'm not always great at doing the washing up in advance, so if I've got a clean one sitting in the cupboard that I can grab, then that works for me. I do actually carry this in my handbag most of the time because Again, the weather's getting cold and it is quite nice to have a little hot drink when I'm out and about and it fits really neatly into my handbag. It's super lightweight and I could even use it to buy something from bulk or store any leftovers if I wanted, so it kind of doubles up as an extra container. So, I'm a Finacon head. Couldn't resist. I'm getting into the festive movie spirit. If you haven't seen The Holiday, it's such a good movie. And that reference will only make sense to you if you have seen The Holiday. My napkin. Uh, I have a whole bunch of napkins sitting in a drawer over there and I just tend to grab one and either shove it in my pocket or in my handbag. These are great for things like blowing your nose or wiping up spills if you're terribly clumsy like I am. Or if I eat out at somewhere where they only have disposable napkins, I tend to not all of the time, but the majority of the time I try to give it back to the waitress before they even lay the table. I just say something like, hey, you can keep that, I probably won't use it, and then I'll use my own napkin. <laughs> I did that the other day when I was out with my mum, um, and then she saw me put it back in my bag, and she said, you just stolen their napkin from the restaurant. And I was like, no, no, mum, this is my own napkin. <laughs> She thought I was being sneaky. I almost always have my diary and some form of pen on me. This is just a secondhand pen that I bought years ago and it's still going strong. Eventually I would love to get a refillable fountain pen and just use that, but we've got a bunch of pens that kind of need using up at home, so I thought we should work our way through those first. Anyway, this is small enough and easy enough to carry around, so I just shove that into my bag. And then this is my diary. I know I should probably use the calendar on my phone, but hear me out. I missed two or three, two or three semi-important meetings a couple of years ago when I decided to trial doing everything via my phone or digitally. And yeah, it just doesn't work for me. I'm quite an analog girl when it comes to these sorts of things. I like handwriting things into it. It seems to commit them to memory a bit more. And it's another reason to not look at my phone because goodness knows I look at it enough these days. And then, oh, we've got, a, oh, this is the worst example of a hairband. I do have others, but I can't seem to find them. This one's kind of lost its elasticity a little bit, but it's still useful. I buy a brand called Kushu and they make things like hair ties, hair bands from organic cotton. I bought a bunch of these originally about two weeks before I cut all of my hair off, so I didn't actually use them that much, but I'm kind of getting to a point now where I can tie it back a little bit, so I've started carrying one of these around. They're also quite useful if I need to tie up a cloth bag extra securely, I can just like wrap it around the top like a rubber band almost. And the final item, is there anything in there? No. The final item, I don't always carry this around with me and I think it's actually in there because I've taken up harmonica lessons again. Ooh, there's someone crying. Is that because I said harmonica? I just kind of leave it in my bag because it's an easy place for me to grab it and it means that I won't forget it. I'm currently trying to practice my wah-wahs, which should sound 
Not quite perfect, but I'm getting there. So I originally took it up for about a year and then I had a year's break. And then recently I just thought, you know what? I really want the harmonica back in my life again. And that is everything that is in my bag, guys. It's mostly just a few cloth bags, a few reusables and the essentials and the harmonica. And I'd also like to say that bag isn't even full with all of that stuff in. Let's try and put it all back in and show you. There's definitely a lot of room in that bag for more if I needed to take anything extra, like a reusable tin. So there you go, guys. That's what I have in my handbag. How many times did I say handbag? What was your guess? Did you get it right? There are no prizes apart from... No, I got nothing. Remember, if you like this video, then hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed already, I'd love you to think about it. And because it's coming up to that time of the year where pumpkins just magically appear and you're wondering how best to use up your pumpkin, then I'm gonna link my video from last year in the info box below. It's pumpkin, root to fruit, and there are at least three, maybe four recipes in there about how to use up pretty much everything except the stalk of that pumpkin. And yes, you get a jack-o'-lantern out of it as well. I'll see you soon, bye.